I'm visiting an inn in Massachusetts that's been run by a dysfunctional couple. I love you so much, but you suck as a business partner. He's lost. I have no idea what I'm doing here. And she's lost it. <sighs> Just wanted to keep it together tonight. And with the staff suffering as well, what's the worst thing she's ever done to you? Smack me on the back of the head. I'm not even sure if I can get through to them. The whole operation is screwed. What do you think we should do? Close. Have a nice day. Nestled in the heart of scenic New England lies the small industrial town of Southbridge, Massachusetts. It's home to the Vienna Inn and Restaurant. Husband and wife, Jonathan and Lisa Kroc, have owned and operated the inn since buying the property back in the year 2000. Jonathan had this crazy idea of creating the Vienna as an Austrian restaurant and bed and breakfast. She said, have you been drinking? No, not yet. <laughs> we try to transport people and to give them that feeling of being in Vienna without having to fly there. When people come in and they stay here for the first time, they think that Jonathan and Lisa are a very gracious host, charming, the perfect married couple. But if you dig a little bit deeper and you stay a little bit longer, find out it's quite a different story. Lisa is an emotional person. She does get upset often. She will just, you know, explode and she can't help but be upset. She's over the top. My beautiful wife, my boss, sometimes she's not so nice to me. Why do you always have to dress like a goddamn, like, bum? There has been a time where I called her a psycho bitch because she was being a psycho bitch. Clean up, man. Yeah? I'm done with this. I don't feel like Lisa is authentic. When she's crying, I don't feel like she ever means it. <laughs> Jonathan and Lisa live in a room at the end. You can hear them screaming at each other, and you can hear it in the dining room, so there's no boundaries. They'll come down after the shift at the end of the night, and they'll have cigars, have some drinks. The environment can quickly become unprofessional. She'll go up to a table and ask them about like their sex lives. You are good looking. We don't get that many locals at the Vienna. There's like a lot of things that people think in town about the Vienna, and I think it's become a little taboo. You have uh, those rumors going around, and people say, oh, the Vienna, they're all swingers, it's a big brothel. It's just, it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. That being said, we're very friendly people. Very friendly. People from the outside think that Vienna's doing very well and we're very prosperous, but somewhere in there, we're losing. They're dragging us down with them, and if they want us to help them, they, they need to help us. The Vienna is our home, has been for 13 plus years, and, you know, it's hanging by a thread. It's 5.30 at table five. We're walking right in. We want to be ready for this place. My God, what happened to him? He didn't last very long, did he? He found our cat. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Dead cat and a cabbage. Isn't that funny? Good morning. Hello, welcome. Nice to meet you. Likewise, good to see you too. Gordon, first name is? Melissa. Melissa. Good morning. How are you? How are you? Lisa Croc. Lisa, nice to see you. You Hi. don't look very happy. I do. Um, I, uh, oh, it's it's, it's face? my resting face. Wow. Um, yes, welcome to the Vienna. I'm so happy to be here. Welcome well, to the cat. <laughs> Poor thing. Cat got run over. Oh, I see. And you got it stuffed? For Halloween. Right. Actually, better to see you now. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, love the attire, by the way. Thank you. Everyone wears this. Wow. How much are the outfits? About $300, $400. $300? Average, you know. They get their own. I mean, they're their own dresses, you know? Oh, you buy your own uniforms? Yes, yes. they do. Stop it. We do. Well, they have them for many years, and it reminds yeah, them well, to not gain yeah. weight. <laughs> wow. So who designed the place? Well, uh, my husband and I. And whose idea was it to buy it? Uh, my husband. So it wasn't yours? It was not my idea, actually. Very much against it. Wow. 
Uh, uh, why were you against it? It was very overwhelming. I had two small children, but probably uh, after I lost my mind the first year, I think we started to get a hang of it. And who's Austrian? Are you from? My husband's half Austrian oh, and Polish. Right. I, I'm not nearly as exotic. I'm very no. American. Right, and he's the chef, right? So he runs the restaurant kitchen and you run the inn? Correct. And whose idea was the uh, violins on the table? Mine. Where did that come from? That was actually from an estate sale down the street. A dead man's violin? No, yeah, no. why not? I don't want to sit across the table with my wife and look at a dead man's violin. Well... A bit freaky, no? I don't know. What would you rather look at when you see the Vienna? Her. Who's her? Uh, my wife. Oh, your wife, yes. Yeah. But you have to have something in, to make up that white space. What would you suggest? Uh, my wife. <laughs> You're gonna put her on the table? That's kind of scandalous. I'm so fucking confused. Dead man's <laughs> violin. What about some flowers? Bloody hell, is this place always as clustered as this? And who's that there? A Prussian family, of course. That was uh, Friedrich, that uh, their family all was murdered. Uh, murder. So hungry. Yes. Wow. So dead man's violin. Mm -hmm. uh, murder on the wall. Um, great story to uh, encourage a nice, warm, welcoming dinner. So um, why don't I check in upstairs? You can do that right now. Yes, like. please. Yeah. Why okay. not? Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Wow. Interesting indeed. Just a clutter. Your bedroom's over here. Rocking chair. Where's that from? That's actually the first no. piece I ever refinished. Wow. So you're quite an antiques hoarder. Room service. Yes. Oh, room service. Come in. Holy Come in. mackerel. Now, what we have here is some pulled boar. Shredded. Oh, oh. Shredded. Yes. Right. And then you have a little celery root right on top. Wow. And what's that? It's a little parsley. <laughs> Excellent. Um, well, <laughs> take one. Would you like me to have one? Yeah, of course. There's three, three pieces. Okay. Excellent. Sure. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Uh, you're welcome. Oh, hold on, wait, wait. Let me put a little bit of the garnish on there. You want me to have that? Well, yeah, we'll have a little piece each. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Uh, what did you think of that, by the way? Celery root, really don't like it. The pulled boar, maybe just a bit more salt. Wow, and what did you think of that? I think it's a nice little surprise for people when they come in to uh, mm. liven up their appetite. Ball was very watery. It was very watery, I did And the that. bread was soggy, soaking wet. Soggy? Mm. From the celery root. Mm. Thank you. Enjoy your stay. Please pass on my uh, comments to the chef. I definitely will. There we go. Oh, dear. OK, wow. And who designed these bedrooms? I designed everything. You designed mm -hmm. I wallpapered wow. it as well. Uh, seriously? What's this? That's a, another closet. What do you mean, another closet? I don't have a closet in my bedroom. That's a closet that we have because there's an area but, over here for guests to use. But where am I going to hang my clothes? Right over here. Oh. You don't need an entire closet. So if you need clothes out of your closet, you I come have to in my plan bedroom. Ahead. Do you have the key on you? I do. Can I see inside? I'm just a bit freaked with locked doors in my bedroom. Gosh. Really? Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you. It's right here. Oh, it's there. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> just my closet. Holy crap. Stop yeah. it. Stop it. Seriously? All my stuff. It's like a garage sale in a closet. That's why we keep a lock on it. Well, I've got no interest in wearing any of the garments, but thank you. You sure? I, I'm, I'm positive, 100% uh, okay. positive. <laughs> Bloody hell. What's the price of this room? This one is 220 $220. Dollars. Correct. Yeah. And I have to share my wardrobe with the owner. But what's through this room here? Well, that actually goes to my bedroom. So do you just walk in when you need to get some clothes? From here? No, but from um, your bedroom to my bedroom. Well, I only do that once or twice a week. And what's this? <laughs> wow. It's a, an antique purse that was actually found in the house, and we thought it was really neat to uh, be able to have. As it's, for, that's a toothbrush holder in case you decide to take it along with you. That's a toothbrush holder? Or you could stick tampons in there if you really wanted to. <laughs> we do that. usually have those. Oh, they're not in there right now. There that's you go. an old lady's case. Mm-hmm. Just trying to think of clever ideas to make this feel like a historic inn. 
historic. Mm. It's definitely historic. Oh, bloody hell, how old is that? You need that? Uh, no, it's just fascinating <laughs> to see what's in my basket. Thank you for that. Oh dear. Everything looks dated. I mean, first impressions, it looks very, very tired. What is all that? That's like somebody wants to throw roses right. on the bed. Oh, for God's sake. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> and then they go back in the drawer. I guess Once so. you've used them. OK, well, I'll uh, look forward to seeing you downstairs. I'll have lunch. Super. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Jesus. That's freaky. The owner's bedroom is literally a metre away. The place is so dated. What a mess. Fuck. Everything's just cluttered. What a mess. Look at this. Ay, ay, ay. I mean, seriously. Bloody hell. Pipe of shit everywhere. More decorations. Should I sit here, Right here. Have a Thank seat. you. You can uh, sit one? wherever this you one? prefer. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get some food out. Want to get some food out? Yeah. What's in here? <laughs> no. Jesus. Lisa, there's junk everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Everywhere. Is the whole house packed like this? Of course it is. What? It's crazy. Have you always been this bad? It's a new thing I'm coming at terms with. Right. <laughs> it's just a... But you do have a problem I, with it. Actually, no. I, I, I think I've actually gotten rid of a lot of things in you the past couple years. Don't have a problem with everything I've just seen in the last 10 minutes. Wow. Oh, well. Here you go. Right, right. let's... Well. Uh, oh, geez. Um, do you know how to say all these? How do you pronounce that? Sufgar. <laughs> um, You've been here a long time. You must right. know the lingo. Sufgar tafel. A lot of people must point to what they want to order, right? Yes. Or just pick up the last line. How do you pronounce that? Uh, Konigsberger Klops. Wow. And how long has this uh, menu been running like this? Uh, since the beginning. Oh, 13 years ago. Yes. Stop. Yes. Seriously. Yes. Uh, let's start off with go for the scallops. Okay. Let's do the beer batter, the sauerkraut. Yeah, let's go for that. Um, and Absolutely. throw the uh, vegetarian mushroom ravioli in as well. Wonderful. Okay, great. I'll keep hold of the menu for now. Okay. Thank you. Sear it in first. Whoa. Yeah. Almost lost it. Regroup. Regroup. Where is Missy? I'll bring it right That's out. Mr. Ramsey's first. Red pepper for blanc? Yes, sir. Our seared diver scallops with a red pepper for blanc. Wow, thank you. And scallops are normally round, right? Yes, they are. We have beautiful sea scallops. I'm not sure why they cut it up today. No, nor am I. Oh, well. Excellent. OK. Thank you job. very much. Looks like the dogs chewed them. I mean, seriously. That's rancid. What's up with that one? Excuse me? Would you like me to give me any comments back to the chef? Comments? Yeah, those shit. Thank you. Yeah, terrible. We'll have Val take care of it for you. Who's Val? Me. I like the way you talk about yourself in the third person. Seared diver scallops. Um, tastes like shit. Tastes like shit, really? Wow, OK. Any specific kind of shit, or just No. Diarrhea. No shit? Oh. These here are the sauerkraut and baktig. And are these uh, edible flowers or not? They are. Chrysanthemum seeds. They are. Mm -hmm. OK, great. Thank you. All right. Hmm. Dear, oh dear. They are terrible. I mean, the food is so dated, it's extraordinary. They look like a pair of camel's bollocks. Mm. This I have here is the mushroom cream. Delicious. Taro and cream. Wow. I mean, what a fucking mess. Mm. There she is. Fucking hell. Val. Val. Yes. Delicious. I mean, you're fucking, kidding me. No, no, I'm fucking delicious. Seriously, really good. Seriously? No, the flowers I'm all about. Ah, oh, you had me going there for a whole second. I thought it was all about the food. I, I... Maybe next course. Jonathan, the flowers are absolutely delicious. The flowers? And this menu doesn't change every decade. It's the same menu that's been on for 13 years. Jonathan doesn't change Chef much. Editions. Oh, sorry, I asked you a question. Lisa always answers. Go on, you. you... Jonathan doesn't change much. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you, you answer Melissa's question first, then I'll go back to Melissa. You said this doesn't change but once a decade, and I said Jonathan doesn't change much. Right. 
Um, you've been here a long time. You've seen the place uh, in decline. Um, what's the big issues here? A little disorganization. Um, things unclear. Yeah, uh, nothing consistent. Yeah, and you know, one puts the other on edge and we get the brunt end of it. Lisa's listening to every word you're saying. I, I can barely hear you. No, no, I was just talking to Mr. Okay, I'm sorry, Elise. No, no, do whatever you need to do. Um, what's the worst thing she's ever done to you? Uh, smack me on the back of the head and in front of the customers. Seriously? In front of the customers? Not hard, but still uh, demeaning. Yeah, I'll say. Yeah. Damn. So there was under seasoned? Over seasoned? Under seasoned. Belly. Which? Everything. Wow, um, where's Lisa? I will grab her for you right away, Fuck Mr. Gordon. And grab Jonathan too as well, will you please? I will, Gordon. Yeah. And anyone else in the kitchen, please? Okay. Excuse me, Lisa, Jonathan. Yes. Can we meet up in front with Gordon? That's the most edible thing in here. Uh, right, ooh la. Um, first impressions. I look outside, historic in. Unfortunately, you've misspelt that. It's prehistoric. Everything's so dated. I go up to the room and the room's shoddy. Jonathan, do you not think it's a bit weird that A, my door's open adjacent to your bedroom, but your wife's clothes are in my closet? I never thought of it that way, but I guess that is it's weird. That was shocking. You just served me one of the worst lunches I've ever eaten. And it was that bad I started eating the edible flowers. You can't be proud of what you've just served me no, and charged absolutely me. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You're correct. You clearly have given up. It tastes like it and it feels like it. What do you think we should do? Close. Because your heart's not in it. And I think your head's just in with the clouds. Embarrassing. Pretty fucking awful. It sucked. Caught me off guard completely. I mean, you knew he was coming. I did. Really embarrassing. I really thought we tried harder. And... I let you down. I'm sorry. You did let me down. I'm really sorry. I always try to tell you that we need to change things, we need to make them sexier, and you never want to listen to me. <laughs> I've always wanted to change, and you always say I'm too random, and it's not. I'm not random. I'm trying to show you ideas and things that we can do differently. <laughs> <laughs> It sucks. He couldn't have cooked worse than he did. Can you pull my ankle? It hurts so much. I'm never gonna be able to walk tonight. Oh, God. Don't worry about it. We'll be fine. We'll figure something out. He doesn't fucking listen to me, does he? Oh, I feel so good. I'm not really that upset. I'm just crying because I want to right now. I've heard rumors around town that the basement is known as a swingers hangout and is used for late night parties. So before dinner service, I want to take a look at what's downstairs. Wow, look at this. My God. Some really expensive stuff. This is crazy. I can't believe how much stock there is here. It's like they're spending the money in all the wrong places. Look at that, this place goes on and on. Oh my God. Please shout before entering the mineral spa. Mineral spa. Oh my god. This is like a dungeon. Dungeon for swingers. Tonight is crucial because I need to get my eyes on how Jonathan and Lisa are running the hotel, since both of them seem to be on different pages. Can I uh, get you beverages to start with? We're getting some wine. Okay. I was, I was thinking Cosmos, but wine is great. <laughs> There's so much stuff in here. I've never seen a kitchen so cluttered. It's been worse, believe it or not. How come the food just sits there? Right at the moment, our timing is really not at all good. What are these for, Jonathan? Those are little pre-meals, little crackers, little piece of cheese. Pre-meals. I'll give that to you to get rid of, please. 
uh, to get rid of. Yeah, I trash. Oh. You can't serve that on yeah. that's a paper for customers to eat. You can't ask them to dip into a fucking doily with a cracker and then a flowering and mm, and yum, 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 yum. It's just, no, it's a bit fucked up, do you know what I mean? It's not your place, but it's just a bit weird. You okay? Yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm okay. When were the chickens roasted? Two days ago. That's the last of them. Why do we roast them two days in advance? They're delivered twice a week. They're cooked off the delivery day. What kind of impression do you think you're sending out to your customers when that chicken's roasted two days before they come? I, 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 I... When do you think this chicken was roasted? You oh, my it. goodness, I hope it was today. It was roasted two and a half days ago. I am not happy to hear that at all. That was going to be dry as a dog's bone. Yeah. But anyway, uh, try to enjoy. OK, thanks so much. I don't feel well anymore. Thank you, I was dry. <laughs> They've been coming for 12 years. You need to just seriously just focus on getting this night done. And they sit there all schmuck. I want to kick them out right now. Do you want us to take the food back? No. I mean, this is, like, so disappointing that you guys feel this way. I thought we were friends, and I, I thought you would have maybe told us if you felt the food sucked that much. You know, it's really, gosh, I feel, I feel like I want to pass out right now. Fucking hell. Um, so the lady you were just talking to over there <laughs> had no idea her chicken was roasted two and a half days ago. It was roasted two and a half days ago? Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, okay, fine. I mean, it's no. not my business with him No, in the I'm, just, I'm just, he God, you two are that. so defensive. There's a thousand different ways to make spets. I've got nothing to do with that. I'm talking and, about the chicken. You know, I mean, I'd, I'd love to find out the problem. Chicken, way. I'm talking to you about the chicken. Well, we Making an excuse gotta, again. Gotta, nothing, yeah, focus on it. nothing resonates with you, does it? Nothing. It does, certainly honey, does. It Absolutely, does. it all does. What in the hell? Ah, I just wanted to keep it together tonight. That's all. <laughs> oh, crazy. Are you like manic or something? I'm manic. Yes, I am right now. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Uh, something between shitty and awful. What does it mean when you feel like an elephant sitting in your chest? Oh, you don't have a heart. You can't have a heart attack. Are you hungry, Gordon? What is this? That is bacon. Should be on a different shelf. And this here? That shouldn't be thrown there either. What's that? Beer batter for the beer batter shrimp. Should be thrown out. And this one? Let me just stand that on top. Sure, put it right on top. What is all this? That was bacon. No, no, no. But mean, that's okay. No, why is it in your fridge like this? I dropped it one shelf below. Instead of putting it where it belonged, I put it on the corner. Normally, these things are pretty orderly. This is a complete clusterfuck. And what's that? Corned beef. Let's, let's, get, let's get outside. Sure. Lisa, let's go outside. What is going on? The whole operation is screwed. The kitchen, shocking. The line, disaster. Cross-contaminated. Raw meat, cooked different, meat, different foods, shit everywhere. And then the biggest asset, where all the money is, is downstairs in the wine cellar. Who's maintaining standards here? He is. I cannot believe what you've just done in there. I really enjoy it. You can't enjoy I that. I swear to God, I do. That's... I, I must be, like, cuckoo in the head or well, something. Well, you need help. Maybe. He does. You need to wake up. I think we can do this. I know we can do this. Yeah, but not just you and you. Oh. I want it to be you and I, because you so don't listen to me most of the time. Like when I tell you, yeah. it's time to come home, Jonathan. It's yeah. time to fucking come to bed. And you just say, fuck you. No, you know, fuck you now. Fuck you, Jonathan. Oh, yeah. I love you so much, and you're such a great guy, but you suck as a business partner. You really suck. Thanks. Do you want to recreate this? Do you want to? Get clean, divorced. Clean. I don't want to get divorced. Want to you get want to get divorced? divorced? No, I don't want to get divorced. Why has it always been your way? I guess I've asked Because you for it know more I, than I, me. I, apparently, I don't. I'm as stupid as you think I am, if not worse. <sighs> Thank God. Let's go in the back door. <sighs> Fucking me. Okay, give me a drink. I couldn't get this down fast enough. That looks pretty good. All right. <sighs> 
nice night. Be okay. Thanks for being on the other side. We appreciate it. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> that bourbon was really strong. <coughs> Crap. Crying again? No, it's not really crying. It's just releasing. Release it. Lisa, can I have you and him together, please? Sure. I'm unconvinced, and I've never met a couple so undeserving of my time. And I think you, Lisa, you're just faking it. I'm just trying to no, you trying just, to get through the night tonight. No, you're acting. The crocodile tears are there. Next minute is a laugh. It's self-preservation, and it's the only way for me to get through the day. There's no heart. There's no feeling. There's a lot of heart. No, there's not. I uh, love what I do. No. And what do you love? Drinking with your friends? I don't do much drinking. I'm not the party girl. He's the party boy. So there's no parties way on after service downstairs in the basement with the customers? Not in the past, like, 10 years. Jonathan, you've lost interest. I'm a mess. Yeah, you are. So the first thing I want you both to do is to pack a bag. I want you to get out of here. Start packing. After sending Lisa and Jonathan away for the night, I'm hoping they can start to realize the effects they are having on the Vienna. But before they return, I called a staff meeting. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So I can get a better understanding of the damage that Lisa and Jonathan are doing. Um, I didn't get a chance to meet you yesterday, yesterday. I'm Jamie. Do the housekeeping here. OK, great. Let's get one thing right. I'm here to help. Having done my research, I mean, the one positive feedback I've had it's about how good the staff are, because I know, you know, just how bad things are, and having witnessed that service last night, uh, I'm appalled. Is it always like that? Yeah. Yes. yes. Screaming? Yes. yes. People At each can other? hear them yes. in the dining room. I've had tables that have asked um, if everything was okay in the kitchen. We can't be expected to be professional all the time when they're not professional. After our shift, they'll, they'll sit down with the table and expect us to wait on them, hand them drinks till midnight. If we leave, they get upset. So guests stay here, and they're drinking downstairs in front of those guests, sometimes with the guests. Yeah. See, there's no separation between business right. yeah, and personal. When you're sitting here entertaining your table, she'll find something wrong that you're doing, and she'll come and point it out and at you right you in front, in of, front, your front of your table. table. She's just rude. She texts me sometimes really rude text messages like, oh, you forgot this, or you forgot that, or why didn't you do this, and why wasn't this done? It's crazy. Another problem that we've really been having is we don't have an actual payroll system. There's no payroll system. And then he'll say, yeah, I'll get you one. And he just never... Ask him for your salary. We have yes, to ask for a chance. Yeah, I got, I got 20 bucks right now. That's all I got right now. Here. Yep. Tomorrow morning, I'll see you. They're drip-feeding your salaries. My bank does not take the checks. Neither does mine. When was the last time you had a staff meeting and discussed this? Never. Never. No. Uh, I'm sorry, but I want to put an end to all this. Here's what we're going to do. Um, they're arriving any minute now. And my message to them is if they're not prepared to bring in a level of professionalism and understand those boundaries need to be met on a daily basis, they're going to lose the in and they're going to lose you. Let me go and get them. I let myself continue to be abused. They need to know that it has to change and it can't just be brushed off anymore. Uh, I had a chat with the team. They're not in a good place and you've abused them. There are no boundaries. They're your staff, and they need to be treated a certain way. Let's go to Jamie first. I'm really concerned about the abusive texts you send him. Why would you send him an abusive text? It's like, text? oh, you would send me a picture, like, oh, you forgot this, or you didn't do this right, you or this. You told me that you worked at a lot of other places and you knew how to clean. I, and when I, the toilets aren't cleaned and stuff, it's really important. But some of that stuff doesn't work. So it's like I'm sitting there scrubbing and nothing's coming up. And you'll be like, well, go do it again. And it's like, I'm trying, I'm trying to do what I can. None of these talented individuals get paid on time. I want to know why they don't get paid on time. Because I don't have a payroll system in place right now. Well, that's a fucking disgrace. That is disgusting. And then you want them waiting on you up until all hours of the early morning while they tidy up after your crap, and then you can't even 
be bothered to pay them on time. It's a... It's a mess. No, you are a mess. I need to say something, though, that almost every single person here, we've given them loans. You're lending them money to buy uniforms to work in your goddamn business. Right. That's absurd. Why? Why? Absurd to pay for a uniform? The business should be providing the uniform. Well, maybe we need to do that. Yes, you do. I never do. thought about it that way. Whose business is this? I've tried to create here a place where people can come and, and, and relax and escape yes. from their stressful lives. Escape from their stressful lives yeah. to hear you and Lisa scream at each other. Are you fucking kidding me? We don't always scream at each other, but what when I, we do, I'm, that's what maybe I, I guess. How small this place is. You live here, so you've got no idea how many times you do it. The love, affection, and respect that they've shown you is extraordinary. And the sad news is, you both don't deserve it. I'm sorry. I will change. I just hope you, you guys want to continue. I just want to say thank you for your honesty, uh, loyalty. Uh, there's some other important people I want to introduce you to this morning. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. much. Thank you, guys. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so, Lisa and Jonathan, uh, I've asked uh, some ex-customers, uh, locals, to come and give you some feedback. Has anybody stayed there recently? We did. The room we stayed in, it had tools and screws and instruction manuals. Wow. So it's not just For the air conditioners me. and stuff, yeah. That's right. You're but, right. Madam, give us an insight to your experience, please. I do have to say, my husband ordered uh, scallops and they were raw. We returned them. The decor was very outdated and it feels very cluttered. You feel like you're locked in a closet. It's just overwhelming when you're trying to have a nice dinner. I would never come back there if things don't change. Okay. What do you guys think about the uniforms? It's a bit the much. The poor ladies were kind of revealing. Our server was the nicest person, mm -hmm. but I think it takes a lot away from them. Oh, it doesn't need to be in your yes. face. The reputation locally is crucial. What have you guys heard? I've heard that's a swingers hangout. I heard that as well. When I had mentioned the Vienna, they said that's where the swingers go. You eat downstairs and then you go upstairs, is what I was told. But you've heard this before. I've, we've, I've, we've heard, heard it, for, it on the street. We've heard it for 13 years. Yeah. But is this due to your late night drinking and the party? I don't think so. Fact or not, that's how yeah, it's, it's just, you know, that's, you're, you're yeah, living there. Portrayed. But yeah, what I'm trying to say is that there are no boundaries. It's an oasis down there that has got a jacuzzi, a massage table. And if the word has gotten out around town, and then you're People being... misunderstood that room, and that's where it all started. I'm just saying it's either a business or it's your home. There's no, there's no crossover. The mixed messages you're sending yeah. is your own fault. Because mm -hmm. you haven't been clear. I used to come to the restaurant probably every month or so. And I can tell oh, you have a lot of like passion for your heritage, but it's not in the food anymore. If Gordon can help you take your heritage and the food and modernize it, and you can progress with that, I'll come every Friday. Mark my words, it's a promise. Do you have anything to say, both of you, to these guests? Thank, thank, you. thank you so much for your honesty and input, and uh, really, really appreciate it. We're going to be making some big changes to uh, address many of the things you talked about. The staff have been incredibly loyal. They haven't been treated the way they should have been treated. I'm undecided about these two, but I am committed to that team because I see what is at stake and the jeopardy they face going forward. Now, I've got some, something else important to sort out. After leaving Jonathan and Lisa, I moved forward with my plans to help renovate the inn. I brought in sommelier Dave Foss to create a beverage program just have a look in here. I mean, that wine's fantastic. From the excessive inventory they weren't using. Oh, three. Oh, that's delicious. My team worked up to the last minute, transforming the many spaces at the Vienna. Wow. 
Oh. Wow, that is amazing. Holy smokes. This is beautiful. This is incredible. Bravo. The Vienna had no organization for managing their day-to-day -day operations. So I gave them the state-of-the-art system to help with all their hotel operational needs. Welcome to the Web Res Pro system. And this will help transform your business. It will link up to the POS system and it will give you data like you've never had before. Fabulous. You need to be organized from the infantry to the wage costs, to the salaries, to the POS systems, to the checking in and the checking out system. And the good news, guests can now book online. So this should relieve a huge headache. I could see that everyone was thrilled with the changes at the Vienna. Good, have a good look round. But as I watched Lisa. Where's this stuff from? I noticed she was dissatisfied with the renovations. These are different chairs from the other ones, aren't they? No? I was just seeing if it was 100% cotton in it. Is that a pullout? No, it doesn't need to be a pullout. And right now, I'm worried where Lisa's head is going into relaunch this evening. Good evening. I can help you with your bags, but first let's get you checked in. While it was time to relaunch the inn and restaurant. A little more modern, if you Yep, we have an order. I provided the staff with brand new uniforms that go with the new updated menu that includes wine pairing and beer flights. First is going to be the grapefruit, then the second is going to be the pilsner. These are up here. Please get out of here, Lisa. Off the line. Actually, let's turn this lamp on. No light bulb. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Excuse me. You see, What's Jamie. Uh, no light bulb in there. I just wanted to turn Don't the light on. Don't worry about it. Okay. What, who's complaining about the light bulb? Oh, just making sure that they have enough light. Look, look. I was trying to turn it on, and realized it later. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's focus on the big things. Are you always like this over little details like that? I like to have things feel right, and so <laughs> I'm feeling extra, like an extra need to make sure everything's right. That's all. OTT. Just a OTT. Probably. Whatever that means. Over the top. Huh? Over the top. Oh, I guess I don't have to be so over the top now, do I? You do not. Yes. What is wrong with her tonight? Do you think she's going to go back to her old ways when I leave? She might accidentally. Customer's coming. Welcome. While Lisa is nitpicking everything unnecessarily. Do you guys have the appetizer for table five? Oh, sorry. We didn't give you that yet? No, you no, didn't. Table five sausage. No? No. Jonathan oh, fuck. is lost in the kitchen and service is starting to suffer. What table number is this, please? That is table number 11, and waiting on two flank steaks with it. Oh, where's the flank steak? Are they coming? Uh, moments. Moments, uh, minutes. Who's cooking the flank steak? Come on, guys, we can do one four top at the same time, yes? Yes. I designed the menu around the size of the kitchen and the speed of both you working together. Yep. OK? <laughs> Come back for the flank. What the hell is this? Look at me, both yes. of you. Both of you. Cut the shit. OK, look at me. You're more capable of doing four fucking main courses at the same time, especially when there's two of you. And one of those main courses is the same dish. We've got to talk to each other, but I'm not going to start sending one dish at a time from four top. Serious? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Jonathan, but look I mean, at me, hey, yes. look at me. I need some fucking effort from you a little bit. I need a little bit of respect and a little bit of effort from you, OK? Yeah, yeah? and look at me. You're yeah. the man holding this fucking thing together. You got it. And if you go down, the whole fucking place is going to go down. So I need you to step up, OK? I need you to talk a little bit. And I want four main courses at the same fucking time. Oh, and Jonathan, yes. you can get your mind set around four main courses at the same fucking time. <laughs> Understand, we're serving one table at a time, and we're going to complete that table. Yes. Four main courses, three main courses, five main courses, we're going to talk together. Yes. Sausage okay. goes with what, the two soups? Yes. What's coming yes. next? It's going to be uh, sausage, two carrot soups, and a fried cheese. Good. For table. Seven. Okay, so we're talking now. Yep. Good. Carrot. Thank you very much. We have your flank steaks. Your wine is coming right away, okay? Your sausage. You guys are all sharing, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think the new Vienna will definitely attract a younger crowd. Oh my god. So beautiful. I'm super excited about the new changes, and I hope they'll last. I, do, I really do. Uh, right. We've had ups and downs, but. Tonight is a prime example of how good and how profitable this business can be. 
customers loving the food, they love the decor. I'm leaving you with all the tools to get this place back to right, where you wanted to go. I do want to ask you one thing. Sure. Is there anything that's happened this week that you're not happy with? Yes, I had expected the Blumenzimmer to be done, not the Koenig, but I was, it was the room I didn't expect. At, at and the room that we've done is amazing. Suite. Still has problems. Can I just tell you something really important? This is not a makeover show. I know that. Yeah. But you're complaining about... I, I wasn't saying I didn't love that room. I've... It'd be a great shame for you to sound ungrateful. Oh, I'm not ungrateful. I am just no, so from shocked. Definitely don't want the to be new just... management system you. to Dave. Uh, you've got no I'm idea what's going on. I'm coming across wrong if you think that I'm uh, being ungrateful, because I'm really uh, not. Um, I, I it really... sounds like that. No, not at all. I can't come in and wave a magic wand and transform 15 bedrooms and put a brand new kitchen. You now know what needs to happen. I do. But I need to tell you something that so. you're not going to like. I arranged for a new stove. You did? To come. And then when I got the engineer to come and survey the place, yeah. uh, unfortunately, he had to leave. Yeah. Because he was going to shut the place down. Because there's practices that are taking place in there that aren't appropriate. You're saying the gas okay. systems? Or... The whole setup underneath yeah. there. Nothing's been changed in 13 years. Yeah. And it's on the verge of running yeah. legally. OK. Mm -hmm. Listen, I came here to help. But you need to help yourselves and you Absolutely. need to dig deep and stick together. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Okay. Thank you, Gordon. Okay. Good night. Thank you. I'll feed his Safe traveling. Man, ah, that's hard work. Soon after I left, Lisa and Jonathan reverted to the old Vienna. This is something that belongs here. Good that came with the house. What are you doing? You're insane. By changing the decor and bringing back the original menu. It's worse than it was. It looks horrible. They chose not to take my advice about running the inn properly. You listen to me about what should be going on in the kitchen. And as a result, their reputation in town remains the same. I'm checking in to the historic Brick Hotel in Newtown, Pennsylvania, where I meet an overbearing owner who has run her business into the ground. No, 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 no. And what was once a proud landmark, are they bullet holes in the wall? That's mold. <gasps> is now suffering from neglect. This place is disgusting. The road ahead is not going to be easy for me. I try to get through to the owner, who is totally oblivious. Thirty miles north of Philadelphia lies the borough of Newtown, Pennsylvania, home to this historic brick hotel. Owner Veranda Kwa, a former therapist, bought the property in 2006 with her son CJ, who serves as a silent partner in their business. We bought the brick hotel because it was an investment opportunity. When we first purchased the place, we were told that it was going to be a sort of a hands-off. It'll run itself. You just have to watch it. Of course. We had no idea, zero idea, what this business is about. I always said to my son, maybe this year we'll make a profit. Maybe this year we'll make a profit. And it never happened. She used to be in family therapy, so patience comes with that job. And I've seen her have a short fuse where she wouldn't do that uh, before we bought the place. When I came here, it blew my mind away that you're still putting in money. So I cut out a lot of stuff here, and it really annoyed and irritated people, and they basically started the dislike render plan. It has been a bit of a dictatorship here with Verandar. You know, it's either her way or not her way. No, 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 no. Verandar is a control freak. She is involved in everything. She will not release or relinquish control ever. Here's the ball. You want me to put it in? She's not a people person. She has no people skills. She just screams out demands, and she's very rude at times. Paul, French onion on here now. There is such a turnover with staff that I don't even know their names. In eight months, I've probably seen over 50 people go. Some people come in for one shift. 
and they listen to her for five minutes and they roll right out the door. I wish I had two clones of me, and believe me, this place would be happy. I feel the brook might have become like the laughing stock of Newtown. So the reputation around town is that, you know, no nonsense, they call me the crazy lady, which is fine to me. You know what, if I'm crazy because I'm trying to save the business, so be it. I think we're at that point where this is really our last chance. If we don't figure something out, it's either sell it, get rid of it, because we can't sustain it. Before I came to town, I heard the Brick Hotel had a high turnover rate. So I had my team reach out to former employees so I can get some information before checking in. Uh, first of all, good morning. Good morning. I've never met such a large team of ex-employees. Uh, small showing. This is a small showing? Yes. Oh, yeah. What, there's more? There's a hundreds. Lot more. Hundreds. 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 I would yes. say hundreds. Um, how much turnover is there with staff? So when I left, Verindar had been through almost 50 managers. 15? 50. 50. 50 managers? 50. And the biggest problem with the place is what? Verindar. She's been cruel to people. I watched her, and she's, she's mean, and she can be a bully, and I've seen her reduce people to tears. Wow, that's terrible. You know, there's so much neglect between not only the staff, her managers, but her customers as well. Seriously. I couldn't take it anymore. I worked the holiday season, and it was kind of like the last straw for me. And what made you quit? I worked all of those parties through the whole month of December. I was lucky to receive some payback, like in February. With your tips? Yeah, she'll cut you a check in six weeks when she feels like it. She wouldn't let you go pick up your paycheck. She so... called the cops on you. You said she called the cops on you? Oh, all the time, yes. numerous yes. times. Yes. Seriously, called yes. the yes. police because you wanted your money? Yes. yes, you're threatening her. Yes. Seriously? I mean, it sounds like a dictatorship as opposed to mm -hmm. a boss that's there to support. People loved it there. It was very homey, the opposite of now. All the locals came. We had a booming hotel business. Wow. It was such a great place, and then the quality just steadily went downhill, and I think she had a complete lack of respect for the staff and didn't understand that your staff is a huge asset. What a mess. Can I ask you a question? Please. Have you met her? Oh, no, at least I just arrived. Seriously, oh, flew to Philly this morning. You are in for a treat. <laughs> <laughs> I was curious, just by the way you were speaking, because I thought he hasn't met her yet, has he? No, no, no. So calling the cops, you know, high staff turnover, um, standards dropping. I haven't got much confidence. However, I'm going to tackle it head on. You don't look very optimistic, do you? <laughs> Thank you. you. Well, wish me luck. Thank you. Take care. Wow, look at the size of this place. Oh dear. What happened there? Damn. When did that happen? You know, it's been here since I've been here. Oh, really? Hi, I'm Marianne. This place is too. Likewise, well, good to see down. you. I get a bit nervous when I check into a hotel and the windows are smashed. Uh, uh, anyway, how are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm happy to be here. Are they bullet holes in the wall? Oh, uh, you know, they might very well be. I'm not sure what they are. We're 250 years old, so... 250 years old? Mm -hmm. uh, what's wrong with the place? I think it's a beautiful place, but I think it really just needs some upgrading. And uh, which part's beautiful? Help me. Certainly not the entrance with the smashed windows. Well, I think it could be beautiful. Yes. It's been neglected for a while. What happened here? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that looks much better. Wow. Oh. Dear, oh, dear. I don't know. Brenda's not going to be too happy. <laughs> you just ripped the wallpaper down. That was fantastic. What time is the owner calling in? She might be here. I can check. I'd love you. to meet her. Oh, he's bringing Verenda up. <gasps> Verenda. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, very well. A little nervous. Mm -hmm. The smashed glass, what happened there? It's been there since before I bought it. Uh, yeah, how long have you had the hotel? Ten years. Ten years? Yeah. And you didn't think about replacing it? First impressions, customers walk through the door? It's, it's the original. Have you been drinking? 
<laughs> you look like I drink. <laughs> did you run a hotel before you bought this, 10 years ago? Yeah. Never. No? Never. <laughs> no, what, what did you do? Therapist for children. I did that for 20 years. That was my practice. Wow. OK, uh, 201. I'll see you uh, shortly. I'm going to go and check in and uh, unpack. OK. Oh, the place is filthy. Oh. What in the fuck? Marianne? I, I need a rag, uh, napkin, okay. or housekeeping, please. <laughs> oh, my. What? Is that? Oh. No. Just, oh. Oh, Jesus. Let me get housekeeping for you. Housekeeping? Call fire brigade. Hello. Hello. Are you the housekeeper? I'm not. I'm looking for. I'm, I'm right. Caitlin. Caitlin, um, please meet me. So my hands are dirty, so I'm just going to shake hands like that. Me, I don't yes. want to shake hands like that. Sure, no. When was the last time this place was cleaned? There's dust and shit everywhere. Uh, Talay is here every day, uh, so I would assume right. cleaning. I, I mean, under here, look, I'm not talking about a couple of weeks of dust. I'm talking years. And behind here as well, look. Hi, what? Talaya. Hi. Oh. Jeez, how are oh, you? Oh, hi. Are you good? Yes, I'm fine. Fine, right. Yes. What do you do? Housekeeping. Stop. W which house? This house. Come over. Look at the mess down there. What's that? What's that? Fabulous. Let's get the place clean. Fabulous. Let's just have a little test here. Mm, look at that. Look at that. Do you have a program that you clean floor by floor? A program? No. No. Uh, where is my room to... What to is that? Is... Your Jesus. room? No, what's that up there? Who sits here? <sighs> is it a fucking tea party for rats or Stuart Little in for dinner tonight? What the fuck is that? Oh... What is it, like, pet corner? We drop our cats off for dinner here? <laughs> Jesus. Man. Who does this? You care to join me? Come on. <laughs> go, go for it. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Let's, let's sit at the brand. Let's talk about your cleaning habits. I think I can fit right here. No, no, I, I'm, my, okay. my, my, my butt's way bigger than yours, so take a seat. May we have some menus, please? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah let's Absolutely. See. So, what in the fuck is going on? I actually said something about that, but, you know. You comfy? Absolutely not. No. All jokes apart, forget the mice party, tea party, Stuart Little's fucking hangout. What is the biggest problems here? Because I'm Things not... like this. The mold, the... The mold? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got rid of the dust. What do you mean, the mold? Where's the mold? Oh, right here. Yeah, take, take me to the mold. Oh, OK. Is... Thank you. Excellent. Let's start this way. Right, where? Let's go this way. We're going up. First. <sighs> Mold. I guess it starts, I don't know exactly where it comes, but it comes from somewhere on the shower curtains. I asked her, can we change it? She there said, is mold. Do you tell the owner to change these out? Yes, sir. And any response? She'll get to it. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Come over. Is that mold? That is mold. Yes, I said that. That's mold. See it? Mm-hmm. Bloody hell. When was all the linen last changed? Look at the color of this. How much sweat is on there? Oh, Look. man. Oh. Look at the color of that. So that's what that is, sweat? That's sweat. And then, is that a, is that a tube television? How old? Uh, have you ever heard of a flat screen? Yeah, I got five. You, you've got five flat screens? At my house. From, uh, what a mess. What's that in there? What? A empty box of tights? Silk perfection. Jesus. Does the owner ever come into these rooms? Since I've been here, I've probably seen her in here maybe once. Once upon a time, these were white, right? You see these? Look at the color of them. How gray and dirty. 
God, they stink. Oh, you can tell. This pool's have been white. Oh, I was, man. I, I was worried about your eyes for a second there. Where's my room, please? 201. Please tell me it's not worse than this one. 201. Bloody hell. What a mess. Dust everywhere. And all this, what is this? Terrible. Girl. How you doing? You found all the nasty. No. Oh, no. I thought that the curtains were gold. Duh. No. For real. They were supposed to be white. Oh, my goodness. I am appalled. And then just underneath it all. Right now, it's pretty obvious that the owner doesn't even put a cent back into this room, even into the hotel. But when an owner can't be bothered to change a smashed window in reception, I don't hold much hope for the rest of the hotel. And look at that up there. What's that? Check out time, 11 a.m. Yeah, I'll check out way before that, my love. Nice to meet you. I'm Likewise. Tammy. Gordon, good to see you. Good to meet you. Um, and you're? Sales and event coordinator at The Brick. Rumors has it you do a lot of events. Do a lot of events. Wow. How many a week on average? About 350 a year. It sounds like this is the oxygen that's keeping this place alive. Unfortunately, that's the truth. Wow. What other problems are there? Help me. Uh, staffing is terrible. Why are there so many staff going through the door? What is um, it? Or Vrandar is firing them. Often I'll come in on Monday and see who didn't make it through the weekend, which is very tough to work for. The bottom line is the problem is the owner. Yes, there's nobody else here. You... Starts at the top. I appreciate your honesty. Well, we appreciate Thank you being here. After learning the hotel's revenue is strictly from events, I want to see how bad the food really is. Seasonal, local, fresh. Mm. I ordered a couple of items. The French onion soup, which was tasteless. That is so bad. Terrible. So I opted for something with a little more flavor. Mm, that tastes better. Mm. Then I ordered something I've never heard of before, a cauliflower steak, which by name I should have known better. That is a mess. Who put it on the menu? Miranda and a crab sandwich, which maybe I would expect to be frozen, but not from a can. Product of China. Fresh. Mm -mm. Seriously. Are we done? Is there a, did I... You've got your burger still. Do you know what? Cancel it. Absolutely. Because if it's coming from the same kitchen, forget it. Got it. Yeah, tell the chef I travel light and I haven't got that many fucking pairs of knickers. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's what freaking happened? out. He's freaking out. Cancel everything else. No more. No more. He's said enough. Uh, take me to the kitchen. Introduce me to the team. Place is huge. Kitchen is massive. Uh, so where's the chef? Miss, Hello. Monsieur? I'm not the chef. You're not the chef. How you doing? Nice to meet you. You are a chef, though. You've got a jacket on. Yes, sir. That's how chefs tend to dress. Yes. Maceo. Nice this to meet you. Barry. Likewise, good to meet you, too. And this Barry? is... Barry Sexton. Barry. So you got it. you're the chef. I'm not the chef. No, you're the chef. A chef, but not the chef. A chef. There's two of them. There's two of them. The other ones. Uh... But where's the head chef? Well, we have both of them in charge. No such thing. Your set of rules, your set of rules doesn't benefit the customers. I'll come back to the food in a minute. I'm in shock. Before I got here, I met a dozen of your ex employees. Okay. I couldn't believe the amount of staff that have left this building in the last two years. Why are you going through so many staff? I don't know. You don't know? I think I hire people and... Uh... Oh, so it's them. Not good enough for you? Yes. When you have a young member of staff that is owed money and they won't leave the building until you pay them and you call the police on them, what kind of business are you running here? Who said that? Are you saying now that they're lying? Please. I don't know. Because Are you I... saying they're lying? Simple, yes or no? I cannot tell people you cannot they're tell. lying. It's inaccurate, though. I do. It's inaccurate? Yes. I have witnessed Verandar call the cops on a number of people. She has a close relationship with the Newtown Police Department. Do you care about this hotel? 
It's not funny. I mean, I, I am not here to laugh. Let's get that right. Let's move on to my reception when I walked in, and there's dust and shit everywhere. When I say dust, I'm talking dust that's been embedded for years. And there's mold on the carpet. I'm a little bit lost for words. I ever sat down in the restaurant and had dinner? No. Right. Top of your menu, it's fresh, seasonal, local. It's canned food. I'm not a chef, and I don't know all these things. What's wrong? You feeling sick? No, I need to take something out of the oven, sir. Oh, you take it out of the oven. What is this? Tomorrow's chicken. Mm -hmm. I see you laugh. What is this? A game? You have to fucking wake up. Hi. Hey, guys. How are you? Excited? Yes, we're checking in. No problem. Bye-bye. Hey, how are you? Hi, how are you? Nice, nice to meet you. Well, first name is? I'm Jessica. Jessica, good to see you. I heard you had a great time today. Great time, not, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, let's wait and see. Uh, who's that? That is CJ. That is Verindar's son. Oh, hi. CJ. Yes, I'm wow. one of the co-owners as well. Good to meet you. How many times a week are you here? I'm here right now probably less than once a month even. Right. I've got another job that I pretty okay. much full time. What'd you do? Uh, manage IT. IT, wow. Well. Why did you buy this? Why did we buy this? It was an investment opportunity when we first got into it. We're told that it was turnkey, hands off. So that was 10 years ago? Yes. Have you seen any return on that yet? Zero. Zero. When do you think it's coming? <laughs> well, I have been talking about that quite a bit over the last six months because right. uh, it's getting difficult to keep putting money in. Wow. In your mind, forget him. What's wrong with the place? I'm very sorry, because I know this is your mom, but I, okay. can't, I can't deal with how she treats me. It's like when we don't need her here, she's here, and she's on me about the smallest things. Wow. <laughs> Do you have one foot in their camp or one foot in your mother's camp? Um, I'm split between the two. I've actually had employees tell me, why aren't you around more, because you're pleasant to deal with. How's this going to get turned around if she's still micromanaging and dictating to everybody? about how this place should be run. She says if she's not here, it's, things will fall apart and it won't get done. That sounds right. <laughs> anyway, here's customers. Hi, guys. How are you? Good evening. Good, how are you? Welcome. How are you? You well? You guys have a reservation? Yeah, Weinstein. Sorry about the smash window. And the crabs from China. The crabs from China. OK. Good you guys can follow me. No. <laughs> I don't go to China for crab. <laughs> Gentlemen, I have one order for you. It's just the first course on the first table. It's just two soup of the days. Thank you. OK, who's next? Apple. I got all the soups, all right? Yep. First thing is this. It's a apple pear no bleach blue cheese and an eggplant stack. Where's the apple pear? Can we get this out? Why is she doing this? Is she always on the hot plate? She is. She's never quiet. Which ones are done? Can you guys take those down? Is this done? No, I've taken my stuff down that's done. Yeah. Wow. It's a little egg feel. Guys, waiting on the egg. It's coming, Verinda. It's coming. We're working it hard. They're making us nervous. Oh, my goodness. Carly. Carly? What? I'm coming. What is Can that? You put this here. Take this. This is yours. <laughs> no, that is my New no, York strip. Not. This is craziness. Oh, man. Who's doing the cauliflower? Are you cooking the cauliflower now? Yes. Fucking nuts. I know she. I swear to God. Mason, can you flip this? And what's she doing cooking? I have no idea. Does she normally cook? Yeah. This is crazy. Absolute crazy. What a mess. Wheels are stuck. It's just sliding on the fucking grease. Oh, God. That is gross. Miranda, you got two seconds? Sure. Just stand behind there, will you? Oh, my goodness. Just, no, please stand behind there. I'm... I'm... What is this? 
Mauricio, you guys just cleaned this. Is this from today? I don't even know what's back there, Verinder. What? When was that cleaned? It's, they just cleaned it two days ago. They got spilled everything there. Come here. I know, hand on heart, that is not from yesterday. That is not from yesterday. What's that up there? Seriously? Watch your eyes, watch your eyes. Who cleans this shit? Who is it? Since I've been here, no one's cleaned it. Since you've been here? No one's cleaned it. I appreciate your honesty. Brenda. Yeah. Since, they, no. since he's been here, he's never cleaned it. This place is disgusting. And this? Well, I, Gordon, I don't come and do this. You don't want I trust them that they would clean. That they are... you, you guys cleaned the floor the other day, didn't you? We cleaned the line the other day. We sweeped right. the line. You said you guys took out. No, no, I never said no, no. that. I never no? said stop, that. Stop, stop. I never You're said just that. trying to make excuses. Yes, you are. Aren't you embarrassed? Very. At least you told the fucking truth. The owner's in denial. That has been pulled out for fucking months. That wasn't pulled out. What a fucking mess. What is this? Bloody hell. Holy crap. No, 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 put that one in there. Oh my gosh, what in the fuck is that? Oh my gosh, what in the fuck is that? That's grease from the hood. Can you stop lying? That was not cleaned yesterday. I'm telling you, this is grease from the hood, but they haven't cleaned it. Do you have any idea what happened if that caught fire? Um, no, do you have any idea if that caught fire? I do. What are you doing? You stopped caring. No, that's not true. I mean, I... That's the sign of an owner that cares? I want an answer. I'm going upstairs. By the time I come down, I want an answer. CJ is gone. I don't know where he went. Jesus. Oh, my God. Right. I'm unconvinced that this place is clean. So, I want to run a quick bacteria test. It looks disgusting. And I don't think these vents have been cleaned for years. Time will tell. Did you talk to Ramsey? No. He came down here looking for you. Then she goes. Now, 10 to 20 is deemed as sort of clean, respectable. Anything over 30 is unhygienic, dangerous. And this is reading. Shit. 573. Come in. You were looking for me? Uh, sit down. What is that? This is a very simple hygiene test. Anything above 30 is in the danger zone. OK. 573 from the air conditioning unit. I don't have an answer for that. Sorry. That's... CJ, yeah. 573. Let's do another one. How long has this chair been here? I believe since we bought the place. Have you seen the stains on it? See the stains there? Yeah. Let's see what that says. Do you ever stay here? Uh, no, I've never stayed here. You've never stayed here in 10 years? No. Wow, so you bought a hotel, you invested in it with Mum, and you've never stayed here. I'm amazed. 446. And you've got no idea it's like this. What's the bathrooms like? Oh, my god. Do you know the shower curtains have got mold on them? No, I do not. Your housekeeper pointed it out. Look, there's hairs there. At this rate, I really should be wearing gloves. Oh, dear. A shower curtain. What? 5,680. What in the fuck? Seriously?
I, I don't have an answer for that at all. 5,680. That is the volume of live bacteria. I'm going to wash my hands. Fucking hell. 5,000. What in the hell's going on? I'm going to go and just check. 301. Sorry, disturb you. Are you well? I'm so sorry. Do you mind? Listen, we've got some issues downstairs and found some pretty horrific stuff. I know you're getting ready for bed. I'm sorry. That's OK. I honestly didn't think they were going to put anyone in here today. Shit, I'm all right. Look, inside. What is it? That's mould underneath. <gasps> no, you did not. Did, no, you did not, really. No. <laughs> that is disgusting. Um, I did a bacteria test. I've been doing them all day. On my shower curtain was mould. <gasps> I just took a shower. Oh, shit. We just give me two minutes, OK? Oh, my God. Let's go, come on, let's go. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Leave your bags there. Make your way down to the front, please. Leave the phone. It's not important. Customers are way more important. Leave the phone. Alarm. Customers out. Customers out. Let's go. Out. Barry, drop what you're doing. Go off the premise, please. We're not going to be serving this anyway. Quick, let's go. We've got to move. Fast on that. Let's go. Everybody stand at the front. Just wait two seconds. Is everyone out? This isn't the drill. First of all, I just want to apologise. There's no fire. More importantly, over the last three hours, all I've done is a bacteria test. No! I want to apologise to all of you, but I want to stop right now while I try endlessly to get through to the owner, who is totally oblivious. Is that the owner? <laughs> this is the owner. We all ate here. We were all playing on say here, and you're smiling like a smirk on your face. What I'm not going to do is just allow this lady to laugh at me, you guys to pay good money and eat, and I'm certainly not letting paying guests stay to sleep here. I'm done. My team will assist you getting your stuff out of there. Relax. There is no fire, but we are not going to continue. I want to stop right now and shut this place down. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I need you now. Thank you. When are you going to get real? When are you going to stop, close the fucking door, and take a good look at yourself in the mirror? If I say anything, it's not believed, so what's the point? What do you mean, it's not believed? What is wrong with you? What I can... What is wrong with you? I... What is wrong with you? There's nothing wrong with me. It's just after 10 years, I'm here every single day. They don't like me and they insult me and they disrespect me every second they work here. They steal from me. They're on their cell phones for four hours a day. You're disrespecting every member of staff. You're blaming everybody for what you've created. Somewhere you switched off and ignored all the problems and took it out on the staff. That's what they're telling you. Yes, right? that's what they're telling me. Okay. Right now, I'm going to tell you something you've never heard before. You're out of your depth. Last night, after shutting down the hotel and seeing Veranda had no communication with employees, I organized a staff meeting. Anyone down there? But Veranda was nowhere to be found. There you are, there. I've been looking for you. They said that you'd run away. No, I'm not running away. I, I don't know why I'm in the front of the staff. You don't want to be in front of the staff. Why not? My biggest problem is that you have shut down, and you refuse to let anybody in. I walk through the way those people steal from me every single day. And so you had some incidents with some bad staff years ago, and then you think everybody that comes through your door is, 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 is exactly the same. No, they're not. It's not about a one-on-one -on -one anymore. You can't just focus on one individual. And you've done that brilliantly in the previous career. Running a team, managing a hotel is completely different. We need to get the team back on side, and they need to believe in you, and you need to believe in them. It's a two-way thing. Well, it's a process, too. 
It is a process. Yeah. But if you don't walk back through those doors and face the music with me, then I'm going to go as well, because I can't do this without you. I, I don't know how. Let me show you how. Uh, well, first of all, um, thanks for coming in early this morning. Um, listen, this is hard. There seems to be a massive conflict. How do we get the trust back in the room? What would you like to see change? We just did a funeral last week, 90 people, and there was two servers. Zero busters, zero bartender. Well, of course it's a money issue, it's a budget issue. So but, I took it over, and that is why. We, we, we had a schedule on Monday for the cooks. We come back Tuesday, the schedule's completely changed. Do you do the schedule? Mm -hmm. But this should be the chef's job. Absolutely. You need to be responsible for your own departments. I mean, like Macy's responsible for the kitchen, Tammy's responsible for the events. You have to offload the work from you and give them the responsibility. I guess that's a mistake. When was the last time you all had a meeting? We had a service staff meeting in here that we get yelled at, and it just gets hostile, and people get up, and me included, and walk out. and. It just doesn't yeah. help you... anything. Let's stop there. We're not. It's not but a this is why. Mess. This is why no one wants to. No one ever if, says anything. If you anything want a manager, you can't get your voice to wait a minute. But you must understand now. That's the wrong way to handle things. There seems to be a really bad vibe in the room that we can't shake off. But the if you want to clear the air, people need to turn their phones off when they walk in and clock in. Can I, can and I, leave can I say something about the, the phones? I have said that a million times, please do not bring your cell phones in here. And invariably, I come in at 2 o'clock, I see you guys outside on your cell phones. Never that seen is me a on break. My cell phone. no, you never see me on my cell phone outside. Not, you know, OK, fine. I mean, you know, maybe you you're not doing outside. it, but other people are doing it. Why is there so much distrust in this building? It's the people stealing from me, drinking on the job, doing shots over here. That's not now. We're talking it's as if it's present. It's not happening today, yes, but there is, I mean, you but know. These guys aren't taking shots. But what I'm trying to say, you're, you're accusing them of somebody else's bad practices. What you need to stop doing is blaming them for the past. Can you trust your team? Tell them that. OK, I'll try. Please. But I can, I can promise. Well, I can only try. Look at that smile. That will go a long way. We all know it's not going to change overnight. It's a process. So we need to embrace that process, and we need to install confidence. I'm open to the change that he wants me to follow, if that's what's going to make this place a success. I feel like the staff meeting was a step in the right direction. Veranda seems to be coming around, but I want to make sure she is 100% committed. Morning. Uh, thanks so much for coming. I really need to talk to CJ privately, because he's the one person who can help get through to her. Uh, CJ, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be upfront. I'm not dealing with a hotelier. Um, I'm dealing with your mum. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm sure she holds a special place in your heart, but unfortunately she's running around like a dictator and she's yeah. not letting any of the staff breathe. She's stifling the business. I've had conversations with her about a few things similarly. I've told her um, the way we were brought up and raised in India, that tone and conversation doesn't work here. And uh, she struggled, to be very honest, adapting to that part of it. Um, you adapted brilliantly come to this country. But she's one tough cookie. Yes. You know that. Yeah. She is nitpicking the staff, and then she's not giving any of them responsibility. She needs to be less hands-on okay. and more supportive. No, I know. I know. This is crazy. Mid-60s, she shouldn't be running around like this. No. She was very honest with me last week. She told me, I want to spend more time with the kids, and my time is running out. And I haven't heard her say that ever. All right. But she needs to let go. OK. So how can I help? I need a commitment from you. Got to be there to support her. Yeah. 
we need to get rid of that stubbornness from your mum mm -hmm. and make her understand that this business can be fruitful. She just has to step back. Okay. We can't continue like this. It's do or die, and we need to step up. Okay. All right. I'm going to have a talk with her today. Please. We got one more shot at this. After spending time with CJ, he clearly sees the issues his mother has, and I have asked him to reinforce the changes she needs to make. What we should talk about is how do you let go? The responsibility is shifting, which means you don't run around doing things. If it's Maceo's kitchen, if you're making that decision, it's not your problem to deal with. Let Tammy and the kitchen chef yeah, do uh, everything. I had learned it the hard way at my job. I was, I was working 70 hours a week, mother. Yeah. But when I got the team in place and I stepped away, I only get involved when there's an escalation. Okay. I mean, you know, I, I can do that. And you know what? Let's see what happens. With Veranda on the right track, the next order of business is starting the renovation process. The Brick Hotel needed drastic changes, so my team worked through the night to get the hotel ready for relaunch. Welcome to the new Brick Inn. <gasps> wow. Oh. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Oh. Yes. Yes. It's beautiful. Oh, oh my goodness. It's amazing. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Would you like to come up and see my room? Yes. 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 Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. I'm about to take a nap. I'm taking a nap. I think I might have to come check it out. <laughs> oh no. Every. Thing about these rooms are amazing. Wow. I'm excited to come to work and clean. Come on, Vanda, jump on that. Go back. ahead. Come on, jump down. Oh my god. If you do it up. Oh. 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 oh my goodness. Very nice. Thank you so much. Oh, you're oh, welcome. Yes. After updating the brick hotel with a modern look, I give them a classic menu that is perfect for the town and can better accommodate catering for the large-scale events that take place at the hotel. Hi, good evening. Welcome to the Brick Hotel. As for the relaunch, I invited the locals not only to dine at the Brick. How are the first couple bites of everything? Oh, fantastic. These are the best golf I've ever actually had in my life. But to tour the renovated rooms as well. <gasps> my, look at oh, this. Wow. Oh, my God. Look how nice this is. Ah. While on the hotel side, everything has been well received. The kitchen is running smoother than ever. Meatballs, arancini, sprouts, jerkies. Yes, one at a time. 86 Brussels sprouts. Yeah, 86 Brussels sprouts, please. 86 Brussels sprouts. That's a good sprouts. sign. Thank you. And with CJ having a presence. Right now, Brussels sprouts. Nice. Can I go get them? No, what do you mean, go get them? He's able to prevent his mother from slipping back into her old habits. It's okay. Let it go. You said it's a good sign. It's a good sign. Yeah. Now she can focus on her duties as an owner. It looks, it looks fantastic. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, it looks well, really thank nice. you. Great job. Thank you. Customers are happy? Yes. Yes. First of all, it's so nice to see you smile. Yes. You had to walk around this town with your head up high. Well, I apologize for the difficulty I gave you initially. <laughs> OK, and the only thing I want to see you do is, from time to time, come in here and walk around like you did all night tonight with charm and grace. I've told them that you are banned from behind that line. <laughs> OK, good. All right. I promise you all this stuff will happen. Promise me. Yes. Thank you, promise. Thank you, thank you Travis. <laughs> I'm not a person who expresses joy or in a, you know, jumping up and down and things like that, but it's really, really wonderful. It's given us a lot of oxygen for a second life. Best wishes. Thank Take you. care. Thanks. Thank you. After leaving the brick, the reputation of the hotel was on the mend. CJ became a more visible owner, and Veranda stayed true to her word in trusting her staff to do their jobs. And her employee turnover is at an all-time low. With these changes in place, the brick is well on its way to being what it once was.